people Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads I'm back and uh, I am at a house I don't know if you guys kind of follow me on uh, on Instagram I had somebody contact me today this house is about 40 minutes from my house that's just people I believe Okay, anyway, they call it the zombie house. I have no idea. I talked to the neighbors over there. This house is sort of being renovated, cleared out. I don't know what the heck happened here, but they do hear a lot of voices. That's the thing. Voices, noises, moans, this, that, the other, guys. So, this is my first video back in a long time. I took the summer off, um, spent some time with the kids. Uh, a lot of changes have been going on. Um, Got in a car accident, as everybody probably knows if you're following me, I'm doing much better. Stiff, sore, my hands are better, guys. Um, so if you've been following that saga, uh, it is what it is, everything's good. I hope this video finds you happy, safe, healthy. Um, I wanted to bring somebody with me. I may come back tomorrow with uh, maybe my neighbor Wayne. He wants to come do another video, so. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that that's just people so I don't know guys we're just gonna give it a shot I'm locked into the house there's a little uh, downstairs there's a little uh, slider that's open it's a couple of levels I went from the downstairs up just check the place out it's it's clean but it's moldy um, damp um, it looks like it was just cleared out apparently this place was left behind with there were boxes and all kinds of crazy stuff. With that being said, guys, let's just get right to it. Let's have some fun. We're back at it. Let's go. Oh. It's about um, seven o'clock. I decided because I didn't know anything about the place. Um, straightening my camera out here. Um, so I wanted to come out. Uh, with a little bit of daylight and I'm glad I did because out front it's really creepy so as a matter of fact I'll show you I got um, I was out there uh, on the intro you'll be you'll be able to see I captured a couple of deer out here which was really cool um, when I was walking in but guys look at how friggin creepy the outside of this house is okay that was a screen but I don't know there's a there's a house here to the left house to the right so the people to the left I spoke to when I got here they're the ones that told me it's called the zombie house <laughs> okay there's a lot of screaming going on guys but I don't know if that's from in here outside or what Again, it's real musty, real moldy. So we're walking into the house. The layout of this, it's an older house, I think from the 60s. 
is really cool. Now, see that? That's a dog. Kind of a cool little layout, kitchen area, little dining area. Plops back down into a little, look at this, family room. It's like a little prison. So the, there's little steel grates outside the window. I wonder what that's for, because behind this is a little golf course. So, I gotta be a little up front here because usually when we come out to a place, especially after shoot, not shooting for so long, I don't like to come out by myself. Because as you guys know, or as I've mentioned before, just coming into a place by yourself is not fun. Uh, it's a little, uh, little scary. So, I'm a little uh, anxious, a little excited. And I'm just going to try and stay as calm as I possibly can. So they did uh, some renovating, but it doesn't look like they did much cleaning. So what I was told was this was like, you couldn't even walk into this place. Like it was just covered or full of junk. As if it were a hoarder. Wow, this is so cool. So we're kind of below the ground. We're on the main level, but this house is one of those like split levels. And the ceiling height is probably 12, 13 feet. Whoa. Could it have been the ground? Does that sound like something knocking? Yeah, I think it might have been the ground settling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Sounded like something in here. Something. <sighs> Hear that? That's right here same time or that that last one was a dog that first one wasn't
the reason why this is up and says do not go on the porch I guess the structure of the porch is not sound that's not nope nope I didn't that's me we're cool Maybe in that, I don't know if there's sounds coming out of here. So those little creaking sounds are just, it's just the ground. Clearly can hear voices guys as usual. Um, let me know what you guys hear down below in the comments. All right, so this, this is the only way down, little spiral staircase, which I don't know what it is with these, but they scare the heck out of me because your foot barely fits on this. how I got in. I'm not trespassing in this home. I was invited in the home. Um, the lock box on the door um, did not have the key, so they told me to gain access this way, which I'll make sure I lock up. So this is a cool little area though. It's like it's a helicopter. A little basement. This place is friggin' creepy as all get out, and I think I will come back tomorrow <clears throat> or the next day. Oh, look at this. It's just so nasty. Oh, oh this is friggin' scary, man. You hear that moan? That... I don't know if that's like the same, it's like a moan. You know what, let me lock this door just to be safe. Get up. I don't actually think it will work.
There's no breeze in here. That might have been from the door, maybe. Oh, it's not doing it. Now I'm fanning the door and it... All right, if there's something in here, if there's a spirit or anything, can you make yourself be known? Did you make that move or was that the door? That's the door, it's gotta be the door. Now it's doing it again. Is it the, the door? There's no, guys, I'm telling you, this isn't on, there's no air. I don't know if that. Who is it? Hello? Who's that? Who's that? Oh. What the fuck? Dude, who was that? Who was that? Oh. Can you move that again? Move that again. Okay, is it? Because if I hit that. Dude, what is going on in this room here? That is crazy. It's all baby stuff too, it's weird. Oh, this is creepy. Okay, now before we heard a little kid screaming or a little ki kid. Oh, I don't like when you hear little kids, man. I don't like that. Oh, this is like a little kid thing too. What is that supposed to be? I mean, it's like a little shoelace noose. This is weird. Okay, so that So that bathroom upstairs where we were hearing stuff is, I believe, directly above this. Any indication? I have no idea. But, creepy. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I could have been standing on that. I could have been standing on that um, piece of wood right there. But that clearly moved. Ah, that is creepy. Wow, that is so creepy.
What is that? Might have been. Was that a friggin' rat? Whoa, whoa! All right, I'm gonna move on a little bit, guys. This place is really freaking me out. This. Whew. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so good to be back. <laughs> I, I, I definitely miss you guys. I miss doing this. A um, little combination of all the garbage and, you know, negative and people, but uh, it. We needed to take some time off. The summer was good. But, uh, oh man, this is just uh, creeping me out a little bit. I definitely am going to miss, for now, hanging out with my buddy in these places. Not having Big Joe here and not uh, uh, being able to have a good laugh with him. takes away from uh, the fun for sure um, but um, for those of you that I'm sure you know the elephant in the room everybody wants to know and you know here's the thing guys we don't talk about each other it's personal stuff I'll give you a little rundown now um, let me put this up here but I will tell you this can you see me okay? I will tell you this, Joe's doing great. Um, I was with him today, we go to the gym pretty much every day. He's doing fantastic, he's just, just sitting back and enjoying life, guys. Nothing wrong with him, his health is better than ever. He is happy. Um, Joe's gonna come back and I'm sure talk to you guys one day. I mean, he does miss everybody. Um, he's just doing his thing right now. He put in a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of effort. He got me going on this. Um, I'm grateful, forever grateful um, for him. And bottom line is, is uh, Joe letting Kate and Rob do their thing and go is fantastic, man. I think it's, be it's a beautiful thing. They're a wonderful couple. You guys get to watch them grow together. Um, hopefully one day get married and have kids and you know live the beautiful, uh, Hollywood life with a nice Hollywood ending. Um, and uh, everybody's happy, guys. So everybody that's been talking and sending messages, I get your messages. I just don't get into it. I'll get into it a little bit here because uh, out of respect for my friend, um, I don't want to get into his personal life. That's his personal life. But I will say this, um, Joe's done absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, he's done good for everyone. Uh, always will, always has. Um, He's, he's a, the person that you guys saw in here is the person that Joe is. He's a big sweetheart of a guy. Um, and he's just taking some time to enjoy his life a little. And no one can fault him for that. Um, I'm so friggin' happy for my friend. Um, I haven't, you know, I've known Joe for 30 years. And uh, I mean, I've seen him happy. I've seen him down, you know, up and down. But he's doing great, guys. So... Thank you for all the people that have been asking and wondering and all that good stuff. And uh, really appreciate it for all you guys that are saying like negative stuff about Joe. I, I feel sorry for you because obviously that's all you guys look to do is try and break people down. But you can't break good people down, guys. Saying negative stuff is only, uh, is only uh, making yourself feel good about yourself for whatever reason. So I always said if you don't have anything good to say, don't say it at all. But... Uh, that's my two cents. I really don't want to, didn't want to get into it, but I know I'm going to get a lot of questions and comments and all that. Um, I will not answer them. There's your answer. My boy's doing great. We still see each other all the time. We live right around the corner from each other. Um, same with Rob and Kate. I see Rob at the gym. They're doing great. They're putting out some wonderful content, guys. Keep it going. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as usual, um, all I need you to do is watch this video. Hit the like, hit the thumbs up, uh, hit the share, all that good stuff. That's all we need. We're not asking for anything other than that. So if we give you some entertainment 
enjoy it guys we love you and uh I hope this video once again finds you happy, safe, healthy guys. I'm gonna do like a, one more little run around. Definitely a little creeped out in here. I'm at 25 minutes. Go a few more minutes. I'll get out of here with the possibility of coming back here once again, maybe tomorrow or the next day. You guys should be seeing this on Saturday, October the 2nd. That moan that was in here, actually was in here, yeah, it was in here, it was creepy. Hear that? I'll go through this one more time, guys. Let me check out that back room. Oh my God, that was weird. The thing's moving in there. something knock and hit Whew. there's that voice again dude I'm going I'm gonna okay I'm gonna head right back upstairs guys let me do this okay I'm at like 27 uh, minutes so I'm gonna head back upstairs I'm gonna shut off for one second just this way it doesn't get cut off and be and I should be back on. Am I back on? Yes, we're on. Okay, we're good. Whew. Yeah, this is definitely creepy at night. Sun setting. I hear you. There's something. There's there's voices up here. Listen. Shh. Listen. What the? Dude. What is that? It's an, it sounds like an animal. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's weird. Listen to that.
Listen to this. Are you kidding me? Sounds like something's like in the walls. Listen. That's probably what. Okay, so the neighbors say they call this the zombie house. They always constantly hear weird sounds, moaning sounds, banging sounds. You gotta be honest, it kind of looks like a friggin' zombie house too. It's creepy looking, guys, but I'm getting out of here because uh, the biggest thing is, is the sun's gone. There's no light at all. And uh, I'm so freaked out. I don't, I don't, you know, it's not fun when you get freaked out. <laughs> so, I'm in an area I'm not comfortable with. I'll definitely say this, even though I've been in the Carolinas for over a year, um, I'm still not as comfortable as I was in Florida. But I'm done, guys. This is great. We did a video. Um, hopefully, I can get out and do some more um, this month. I want to have a big month with, uh, with it being October and everything. Uh, so hopefully, I can bring you guys some great content. Um, yeah, and somebody... Uh, reached out and told asked me to do reaction videos and then I looked up some reaction videos and they seem like they're a lot of fun um, so I might I might do that I might start doing a couple of those this way I can kind of stay um, stay in your face a little more um, but outside of that guys I hope once again this video finds you happy safe healthy um, the PO box down below no more guys I don't want to, I'm not accepting any more uh, gifts or anything like that. Um, I just want you guys to watch the videos. So, uh, merchandise, I think the link's still there, but I don't even know if that's still relevant right now. Um, thank you guys. Thank you for everything you do. Um, cameos, I'll keep up uh, because that's, that's something I enjoy doing. Um, and uh, I feel like uh, uh, it's a more one on one thing and it's, it's a feel good moment. Uh, not obligated to do anything guys um, the only thing I ask for you to do is watch this video like share subscribe hit the little bell do whatever you got to do I appreciate each and every one of you I hope this video finds you happy safe healthy and until next time guys I'll see you soon deuces love you